What is poppin' you guys? I hope you're all doing great. I hope you guys are fine and dandy. So on today's video, I'm going to be sharing, kind of like spilling the beans on my favorite Benjamin Moore pink colors um, because in the world of so many colors, why not kind of narrow it down and tell you guys which ones are the best in my book. I've seen them painted in clients' house, I've recommended them, and they're just ah, beautiful colors. All right, so let's get started with this video. So the majority of the colors that I'm going to talk about are all kind of neutral colors. I'm going to be sharing my favorite whites, my favorite grays, blacks, um, with the exception of some dark navy colors because I just can't get enough of that one. So starting with whites, I have three that are my absolute go-tos and the first one I'm going to talk about is called White Dove. This color is a warm white, it has some cream undertones and it does not have that stark look to it. So that's my go-to when I'm looking for a warm white. Now, when I'm looking for a cooler white, then the next color I'm gonna talk about is called Winter White. So that color is a crisp, cool white. It has no creamy undertones, so that is my go-to when I'm looking for something you know, on the cooler side and no cream undertones. When I'm looking for a pure white color, the next color I'm going to talk about is called Chantilly Lace. This color I use on doors, trims, um, sometimes paneling, kind of like the basics of the house. It has some gray undertones which makes it a beautiful shade of just like a pure white color. So now moving on to grays, I have three that are my go-tos, my absolute favorites. So the first one I'm going to talk about is called Stonington Gray. Guys, this color, mwah, I cannot get enough of it. It is just so beautiful. I have a client whose kitchen is painted in this color and it's so gorgeous. Okay, so it's a very modern and bright color. It's a fresh gray with some cool blue undertones. Second on my list is Horizon. This one is more of a soft pale gray. It does sometimes trend to look like pale blue, but this is my go-to when I'm looking for kind of a happy median in between white and gray. Third gray is called Gray Owl. Guys, this has been like everyone's favorite for who knows how long. It's a very popular color because it has the right amount of cool and warm undertones. It's very flexible so you can pair it with any color and it will look great. To kind of summarize the grays, Stonington Gray is my go-to when I'm looking for kind of like a crisper, cooler gray. Horizon is my go-to when I'm looking for a happy medium between white and grays. And Gray Owl is my go-to when I'm looking for a softer, warmer gray. Are you guys still with me? Great, cool. All right, so moving on to black. So like the other colors, I have three that are my go-to, starting with Rot Iron. That one is my go-to when I'm looking for a charcoal gray color. It makes a nice accent wall. It does have some black and brown and gray undertones. But again, it's a nice color when you want to go dark, but not too dark. Now, when I want to take it a notch darker, then the next on my list is called Onyx. That color is a warm, rich black. It does add some soft drama to the space, but it's not as black. If I want to take it another notch darker and go full blown black, then Black Beauty is my go-to. This color is very black. It does have some brown undertones, so it pairs with wood accents very well. I've actually used this color for a client's man cave, and they had a cognac leather daybed bumped against the wall. So just seeing the brown on the daybed and the black wall, they just looked beautiful and they complemented each other. So now for the last segment, I'm going to share my two favorite dark navy pink colors. The first one is called Polo Blue. This color is timeless, it's modern, it does have some blue and gray undertones. And guys, um, I actually have a client who painted their island cabinetry that color and it just looks so beautiful against the white cabinetry. I guarantee you this color will never go out of style it's because it's very timeless.
The second one is called Hail Navy. This one has both warm and cool undertones, which makes it, you know, again, very timeless and versatile. It pairs very well with any other color. It gives that sophisticated and playful look. So you're probably looking at these colors and thinking like they look so similar like what makes them differentiate from one another so polar blue is my go-to when I'm looking for like kind of deeper and saturated um, dark navy and when I want something that's a little more on the warmer and lighter side then hail navy is my go-to so I hope that explained it for you guys but that is it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed me spilling the beans on which Benjamin Moore colors are my go-to's and if you've used any of these pink colors please feel free to DM me and send me a picture of where you used it um, because I would love to see it it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video from your girl. And I will see you guys on the next Tuesday with your girl. Bye!